right? In chapter 9, we're going to talk about Ramsey's theorem. So let me start with the most basic uh, statement, RKL. Right? So this is the minimum n such that for all n bigger than n, uh, any two edge coloring of Kn creates either a copy of a okay two edge coloring of Kn uh, into red and oops yeah. Um, into red or blue, create a copy of red KK or a blue KL. And so for instance, R33, this is like minimum number of vertices in a graph, complete graph, such that no matter how I color the edges by red or blue, I either have a red triangle or blue triangle. So for instance, in K5, if I color blue over here and the red over, no, uh, the other way around, red outside and blue inside, then there's no triangle, no red triangle, no blue triangle, so that means R33 is bigger than 5. But you will see that R33 is equal to 6, at most 6, and this is easy, uh, Example where uh, many of you may know already, right? You pick a vertex, one vertex, look at the five other people, and then half of them will be joined by the same color. Let's assume that it's red. And then between these half, if any pair are joined by red edge, then we have a triangle, red triangle, I mean red triangle, so that means I can assume everything is blue, and then you have a blue triangle. All right? So this shows that whenever I have a six vertex in a complete graph, then no matter how I color the edges by two colors, I will create a copy of a K3, in a monochromatic copy of K3. More generally, let's uh, define something like this, N1, N2, N3, Nk is the minimum N such that for all N, any coloring of the edges of Kn into K colors create a copy of Kni uh, whose all edges are colored by I for some I. Okay? Mm. Now, we can, eat, we can see why these numbers exist. It's a theorem. this exist and to see why I mean we just need an upper bound we're gonna prove the following claim range number of n1 n2 and k is at most something and we're gonna use the same proof idea pick one vertex okay now Look at the other vertices. So you have n minus one. So let's say n is bigger than n, which is which we we're gonna we're gonna define here. Suppose okay, we're gonna we're gonna write some formula here. Suppose n is bigger than something. Now it's enough to find the copy of k and i of color i 
Now I look at m minus 1 and we want to make sure that there's at least one set of size uh, big and all of them are joined by the same color, color i. And how big do I want? By big, I mean it's going to be the size ra uh, range number of n1, n2, up to ni minus 1. And ni, we subtract 1. It's this big I, that I want. Okay? Why? Because if I have a if I have a neighbor neighbor of this particular vertex of this size, and all of them are joined by the same color, color I edges, then inside here by induction, I'm gonna have uh, some copy of K and J or some J with the same color J. If J is different from I, I already win because I already have NJ copies of, I mean, uh, K and J uh, of same color J. If, if the color is I, then I will have an NI minus one uh, size complete graph with color I here. But by adding this vertex, I'm going to have that, right? So if, if there are at least this many, neighbors of we joined by edges of color i with v then we have a copy of k and j of color j so done so this means we may we may assume number of such neighbors is at most this number minus one. Then n minus one has to be at most sum of this number. Right? This is what we get. And then we need a contradiction. How do I get a contradiction? Well, now you can say, all right, so if I need, I need n is bigger than this by 1. Right. So some of the range numbers Oops. Minus k plus two. <laughs> All right, from one up to k. So if k is two, then that coincide with the formula that I know. All right, so that's why the Ramsey number exists, and this is a theorem due to Ramsey by uh, in 1930. When you have only two colors, you can actually prove the following. Why? This is, you can see by induction, right? So R11. One, one. Oh, by the way, I didn't mention why this inequality implies that this Ramsey number exists. Because we apply induction on sum of the ni. And if, if we have a, Right. 
uh, if anything is two, oh, I mean, if anything is one, right? So base case is okay. Uh, yes. I mean, I can ignore one actually, right? If and if if things are two, that's two, right? And and. I mean, let's let's do this way, right? If you have anything, the two, then this is same as you can eliminate the color, right? So basically, I can assume that any n i is at least three, and then uh, you do the reduction. You apply this inequality, and then by induction, you we deduce that this number exists. Right? I mean, the thing is, since this is less than or equal to k minus 1 l plus range of k l minus 1, so by induction, this is k plus minus 3, k minus 2, and this by Pascal's formula, right? So we have some bound, so this implies that lambda number is the most 2 to the k l minus 2. And we're going to see some bounds of our Ramsey numbers later. Okay?